In recent years, the Palestinian high-tech industry has experienced amazing growth, with over 150 high-tech companies in the West Bank, many of them small, innovative businesses. Entrepreneurship, like for the last four years, it was booming in the West Bank. Um, again, for having like 40% of unemployment, uh, 10,000 um, fresh gra graduate every year, limited number of companies, and no access to the international market. It was the only way for uh, youth to find jobs and to have a better life. Every year, 2,000 Palestinian software developers and engineers join the market, many of whom aspire to set up independent companies of their own. A new program initiated by USAID and based on the cooperation between the prestigious business schools Rekanati of Tel Aviv University and Chicago's Northwestern Kellogg aims to assist these entrepreneurs. The mindset we always try to instill is for once you're, you're thinking about your initiative or your idea, think of the global markets. Don't think only about the Palestinian market or the Arab market. The executive development program for Palestinian business leaders is a three-month mini-MBA program which includes classes in leadership, competitive strategy and financial management, exposing small and medium businesses in the Palestinian territories to the international market. I started really small with an idea and uh, I worked on it uh, like for two years and a half now. Um, uh, the business is all about establishing an e-commerce company in Palestine and uh, trying to break the ice with the international market by having all uh, of this uh, product selling online. The fact that the studies take place in Israel was a big step for many of the participants. To be honest with you, um, I was nervous till the first meeting when I met the first professor and we started talking about business. It's all about education and it's nothing more. At the end of the day, Israeli people or Palestinian people have to sit together and uh, find a solution for this um, not um, safety environment between both sides. Israeli high-tech companies are desperately looking to hire qualified workers at low cost and quite often turn to East Europe or Asia to get the services they need. This program hopes to benefit both neighboring markets. The strength of the Palestinian economy could be a strength of also the, the Israeli economy. Uh, better trade relations, more established businesses means uh, more established uh, things, other things such as political strength. Under the present circumstances, it seems politics prevail over business, making collaboration hard to achieve. First steps toward economic joint efforts might just be the first significant bridge between Ramallah and Tel Aviv.